One of the strangest hijack attempts to date began yesterday when two gunmen held up a bank in Brooklyn, New York. The gunmen got $29,000, but before they could leave, police moved in and the bank robbers seized eight hostages. It all ended 15 hours later at New York's Kennedy Airport. ABC's Charles Burke has the story. With his partner inside pointing a shotgun at eight employees, the other robber spent much of his time pacing outside the bank, either negotiating with police or screaming at them to back off. Police, in turn, tried to keep the pressure down by ordering the hundreds of spectators to move. All right, Smullis, you got to move back. The more visible bank robber is 27-year-old John Wojtowicz, an out-of-work New York City resident and an admitted homosexual who left his wife and two children three years ago. Yesterday, Wojtowicz insisted the man he described as his current wife 26-year-old psychiatric patient of the broad bank. He was, but after talking with the gunman, refused to join them. Later, the two bank robbers demanded a plane at Kennedy Airport and a car to get them there. Finally, around 3.30 this morning, an airport limousine pulled up at the bank with an FBI agent at the wheel. Only then did the second gunman come out of the bank. A rifle slung over his shoulder, 26-year-old Salvatore Naturelli then joined Woj to its and their hostages in the limousine and headed for Kennedy Airport. Along the way, they had plenty of company. Perhaps 40 cars followed, carrying police and relatives of the hostages. The caravan would pass through an airport gate leading to a secluded runway. The bank robbers had hoped to make their escape in a small jet plane. They failed. The aircraft was rolling up, and as we were making plans to depart from the limousine, uh, we had a driver in the, uh, in the uh, limousine, an agent, and uh, Mr. Baker and Mr. Fell charged the men and... Uh, uh, diverted the shotgun and the machine gun, and in the meantime, the agent had a chance to shoot him, and when one was shot, the other immediately gave up. Naturelli was killed by the FBI. Woj to wits is in jail. Although none of the hostages was injured, understandably, none showed up for work today either. As for the bank itself, it considered the matter closed. Charles Burke, ABC News, New York.